Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This modeling methods tutorial is going to demonstrate how you can weather with salt. Um, we're going to use a standard uh, 124 scale, a 125 scale uh, model kit. Um, in this uh, case, a pickup truck. It also applies to uh, you know any kind of military armor, etc. But we're going to um, sh demonstrate the use of salt as a weathering technique. And um, this uh, will include different shapes and sizes of salt, which come from different types of salt. So uh, bear with us, and uh, we'll show you how it's done. And so here you can see the finished product. And uh, with some washes and some uh, a finesse, you can make a, um, a brand new looking model look like a very old looking model. Now I want to detail the weathering technique that I used, and it's quite involved, and there's a lot of discussion here, or you can just skip to the end and see the final uh, product. But um, as for the paint, I used, once again, a salt method for weathering, and I started out with a red oxide primer, then airbrushed some lighter rust shades for the base. Now you try to focus your shading to areas that you would see uh, that kind of color for rust for on a real truck. Now weathering is best done with light layers of paint. Uh, you don't want to try and get the final coat with the first coat of paint. You use very light coats for this. Uh, it's for shading, not painting. Now add some darker shades to your body. And here you can see that uh, we're adding some coloration to the various areas. And I actually use just uh, some cheap craft paint here. It works very well. And there's a lot of different colors and you can mix them for uh, just exactly the shades and effects that you want. Now we'll add the salt and think of it as a mask, uh, which is what it will be. The more salt that you use, the more rust the model will have. So you can use uh, different types of salt. Uh, table salt, uh, sea salt, kosher salt, they have different grains and sizes. And you can have more of a random size and shape in that way to your patterns. Now spray the model liberally with water and then add uh, the salt where you want the rust to show. Think of it as uh, like an actual car would look and that's where you would place your, your salt crystals in different patterns. Now after you've let that dry for at least a day shake off any loose salt and tap the model lightly and if you wish you can remove some you know with a, a small hobby knife etc if you think it's too heavy now choose the paint uh, for your base color and as in the uh, color of the truck the, that came from the factory so you're now you're putting on your factory paint color let the uh, let the model dry for another day and then remove a little salt and paint and then uh, we're going to paint the model again, this time with a lighter color than the base. Then add some white and repeat this step for a darker color too. So this will give you a more aged look to the paint. And after that's dry, you can remove all the salt and give it a gentle wash. Now, uh, remember, you got a hood and uh, related parts. And we're going to use the colors you used previously. And uh, we're going to take those colors that you shaded the base, uh, base rust with and we're going to make washes out of those by thinning them to a very watery consistency. Then go around and add wash to random areas and try to make it look like rust runs or pooling. Um, use many many layers here, just thin layers. I probably had 15 or 20 layers of wash on the kit. Your first layer of wash should be the largest of the pattern as each layer in the pattern will shrink to make the edges lighter and the center a little deeper. Now you can also leave puddle on flat surfaces like I did on the hood here and let the puddle evaporate. It'll leave a ring that you might see uh, and it's a nice effect. Well there you have it. Your model is finished and it's a stunning looker. You can do all kinds of things to a weathered truck. Uh, you can remove all of the lettering. The, you can add some, break some. You can uh, put some holes and rust into a weathered kit. Uh, but this is kind of a uh, mid-restoration. So it has a special look. Now you can do uh, a number of different things. 
in that vein you could completely uh, or almost completely destroy the thing. Uh, there's all kinds of ways that people have um, turned models into very old looking antiques. Well, we hope you like this step-by-step -step review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon in the lower right of any of our reviews. Or you can find us on Facebook or our website right on replicas.com. Thanks.